All right. So today we our speaker is uh, Sujain Shah, and uh, I would like to give a brief intro of uh, Sujain. Uh, he did his bachelor's from T J Sangvi College of Engineering, and then he went to U S to pursue his master's in computer science from University of Southern California. He is enthusiastic about solving problems involving big data and is currently working in applying cloud scale technologies to solve some of earth sciences challenging problems. Sujain is a strong advocate for open source technologies and is developing tech for the social good. And uh, while saying that I would also like to uh, tell our audience that uh, Sujain is currently in California and it's uh, almost 8:30 p.m. and uh, he has uh, spared his time to share his insights and uh, answer your questions so on behalf of the entire team of boarding pass and all the colleges associated we would like to thank you for uh, sparing your time sujain thank you for having me that's great uh, and sujain now uh, feel free to uh, start your presentation and if you would like to greet uh, the students or tell something before it's it, it's all your platform now go ahead <clears throat> thanks sure um well welcome everyone uh and i think i would be talking a lot about myself through the presentations uh and i would like like to have a two way dialogue i know this is like a live stream channel so please use the chat and i can answer your questions let me just give this presentation a little bit brief about uh what did i do in my bachelor's masters what i'm doing now and a little bit about how data science can uh its applications and help you know solve different social problems um so let's start uh is the screen visible yes it is i'm just oh, trying to all right yeah all right you can go so we're good yep all right um so a little bit about my career journey like as you introduced me i did my bachelor's uh, from mumbai uh, dj sangvi college and some key things to do during the bachelor's or like what i did was internships like i did realize this pretty late that internships are really important they're not really publicized so like the first kind of two to and a half almost three years i didn't really go out there to get some practical experience so first thing was internship so like i did then realized got internships uh did one internship at iit bombay for about like 6 to 9 months uh it was about helping the farmers in like gujarat and maharashtra you know solve uh, organic farming challenges and create like vernacular system so that everybody can understand that's where my second point which is applied projects make sure like we have a lot of projects that we have to do during our course work try to think about what can be like a, a real world application of the project like yes everybody makes you know hospital management systems and you know like simple database management systems warehouses of like a grocery store but try to think about something that is more applicable and that's what i we did like a group of friends and i uh, for one of our projects started an e-commerce website turned it into a company and we were selling like customized cakes uh, across mumbai so um uh, that is a brief of my bachelor's journey and then i realized well i do want to learn more and after kind of consulting my seniors and like uh, my parents like i was like okay we need to go for masters like applied to many colleges uh, landed at usc in la and uh, the two years of masters taught me like of course how to live alone uh, i had never lived alone before i was not living in a hostel during my bachelor's so that was a big learning but then i would say the key things that i learned was networking was really important that's not something that i really learned in bachelor's you were kind of in our closed circles of friends never really attended talks went out you know chatted with like unknown people in the same field and really you know create a meaningful connection so that's something i learned uh again plenty of research like you have access to like world's great you know professors who have been working in the field for like years and years like try to contact them you know do research and the next the hackathons is something we have that in like undergrad also now but i had not participated enough so i learned a lot from like working with like there are students from china there are students from israel 
like Russia, there are so many different students and like working with them, you really, uh, like you expand yourself uh, when you get out of the bubble that you have created. So networking, research and hackathons. Then coming into uh, my job, like I landed my job because of an internship. I did get an internship uh, at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. I'll be referring to that as JPL. Um, and the internship was because I was networking with professors. I sent cold emails and then I took up research and then they saw my work and then they invited me for an internship. Things like there are many things that you would like go through during the work. It's like you will not really have time to do a, like something different while you are working, especially when you just join. Like if you're an early career hire, like keep learning, keep always learning from people who have who are at your work or you know whom you are working with from outside your team. Like this never stops. Like make sure you are you don't take easy projects and just settle. Like keep learning. Then mentorship. By mentorship, I mean find a good mentor. Like you will need a good mentor to succeed or else you are just winging it by yourself. So very early on, make sure you reach out to like resources within your company, if they have mentorship programs or find one for yourself. And then slowly on, like as you proceed, you will kind of tend to take leadership roles. So learn how to deal with people. Just don't be in your cubicle or on your screen. So that's one thing I started learning over the past two years. I've been taking more leadership roles, leading uh, teams, and you know, it's much different than just development when you have to deal with people. So these have been my key takeaways uh, until now from my bachelor's through almost four and a half years of work experience. So as you all know, I work as a data scientist uh, at uh, JPL and we are affiliated with NASA and we do a lot of uh, space uh, science, earth science applications. So, and uh, some other projects that I was involved in. So I'll talk about one of them, uh, which got some media was this program funded by the, like the defense research agency out here called DARPA, that it's called Memex, which was, we were trying to use data science to solve many different problems. One of which, which I worked on was trying to combat human trafficking. Uh, like you would wonder like, how would you know data science help combat human trafficking? But you'd be surprised how much information is there on the web. So we were call, we called it dark web mining. So like you see a web and then there is there is another internet that's like kind of underground or you know it's the dark web. And then we would go in, create specialized crawlers and you know you extract all that information. But there is how do you get like useful uh, information from all that data that you have just downloaded? That's where you know you start using data science. Well you have people you won't re like realize write reviews about you know the experiences they might have had or services they have received, and then mining that text. You can use like natural language processing and create online personas. You can track a person through the way they type across different websites to create this one entity, and then you can follow that person even though they keep changing their usernames, email addresses, whatever. Like they don't change the way they type. That's one example. The other is kind of basic object recognition and images. Like a lot of the times when they're advertising someone, they use images and that images might have like signs of say, if there's a tattoo, you do tattoo recognition because if there's a tattoo on a lot of people that might mean it's it's like a gang, you know, it's like a organized uh, system or can you detect objects in the background in the room? Like, are there many images from the same room? Like that kind of gets you whether where that location could be. And the other thing is, of course, you see those ads that keep popping up. Those ads have numbers. Sometimes they have like dates, locations, like if the same ads keep popping up in different cities, you know that someone is traveling and then you can inform the authorities. So we've done uh, quite a good work. Like a lot of uh, agencies have been, have used it when, while we were working and there is like online information available. Uh, if you want to dig 